It's coming very, very soon. And it worries me that people reject Jesus. It worries me. I have a heart for the lost. I don't want to see one person spend eternity in hell. I don't want to see one person be left behind. I know, I know that wide is the path to destruction. I know that many more people will spend eternity in hell separated from God because they reject Jesus. But I still have a heart for them. And I know so many people are going to be left behind. I know it, but I have a heart for them because it's so unnecessary. Jesus is a gift from God. Grace is an unearned gift. And that's how we're saved. We're saved by grace, an unearned gift, through faith or belief in Jesus Christ and everything he did, his finished work. So you say, well, what did Jesus do? What did he do? Okay, he was in heaven for eternity backwards with his father, the only begotten son of God. For eternity backwards. And he comes down to earth to save us sinful creatures because we're all sinners, every one of us. And God provided animal sacrifices before Jesus. And it took care of the sins of the people for one year. But Jesus is way, way, way different. He came to earth to die, to shed blood that would cover the sins of everyone Forever, every sin committed. Every sin committed is covered by Jesus' blood. So he leaves a throne in heaven. He comes to earth. He's 100% God and 100% man. He lives a completely perfect life. He never sinned once. The only person that ever walked the earth that never sinned once. And they hated him. They treated him like a complete criminal. They marred him beyond recognition. And then they nailed him to the cross. And he shed that precious blood. That as I said earlier, it can wash us white as snow. It removes our sin as far as the east is from the west. That's how powerful that blood is. And that's what saves us. That blood rescues us that Jesus shed. And after he shed that blood, he died in that cross. His last words were, it is finished. It is finished. Satan was so ticked off that day. He knew at that moment he lost. Because once again, we could have fellowship with God. Satan was mad that day. So then they put Jesus in a tomb and three days later... He rises again. He's alive again. And some people have said, well, he never died. <laughs> it's like, well, you know what? Study what the Romans did to people. Study what happened to Jesus when he was marred beyond recognition. Some say it's a miracle he made it to the cross. He was beaten so badly. No, he died and he was buried and he rose again and he's coming back. So that leaves you with a decision to make. Do I think this is all baloney and this is a fairy tale and a myth? And if you believe that and you continue to believe that to your last breath, you'll spend eternity in hell and you'll never say to God, it's unfair. You won't say that on judgment day. You're going to say to Jesus, you are a fair and just God. So your decision is, do you ignore it? And say, I don't need that. Ah, it's a fairy tale. I, I, I'm i fine. I'll just risk it. Man, you guys complain when you get a cold on earth for two weeks. What do you, What's going to feel like to be in hell for eternity? It never ends. But you have a ticket out right now. Because it's a free gift. An unearned gift from God. Grace. Jesus. And all you have to do is say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner and I need forgiveness. I need payment for my sin. I want to spend eternity in paradise with you. I don't want to go to hell. 
And hell isn't some party. I've said this many times. It's not a, a keg party with bikini girls and ACDC playing. No, it's suffering and torment that never, ever ends. You will long for this world that you complained about half your life. Because you're breathing God's air and you see God's sunrises and sunsets and the beauty of this world. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. He'll wash you white as snow. He'll give you eternal life. I just, I put this in front of you. And if you're still watching this and then you reject it one day, you're going to see this again and you're going to go, I had an opportunity. And I said, I'm not listening to that crazy bald guy. You need Jesus.